Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to film our three to six month routine and I thought that I'd do it in a bit of a vlog style. So I'm going to take you around with us today and talk to you all about how we sleep, feed and play with our five month old baby Rupert. <laughs> So Rupert woke up at 20 to 6 this morning, he's just on the bed there behind me, we're in Finley's room at the moment, Finley's just gone off to the nanny for the morning. So he woke up at 20 to 6 and I fed him, he tends to wake up around that time most days between 5.30 and 6am unfortunately and then I managed to get him back down to sleep at 7 and he slept for a further half hour then until 7.30 so that's probably his technical wake up time, 7.30 and then he will probably go down for his first nap around 9.30 but we will see what the morning has to hold. I very much follow Rupert's routine, we do have a set routine and you will see that throughout the day but it's really one that he has set himself and if we need to change it alter it by half an hour or even an hour either side of those times and that's absolutely fine. I just go with his lead and whatever makes him happy. I think that when I had my first child I was a lot more into having a set routine and that also was probably because we were going out to classes a lot and so we needed to be in certain places at certain times and obviously that's not the case at the moment. I really liked having quite a strict routine with Finley and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I do think that it's something that as a first time mum you definitely feel more comforted by that fact um, and this time round just with the lockdown and with having an older child as well it just doesn't quite work as well for us so this is what works for us at the moment. I will leave everything Thing written in the description down below so that if you want to come back and refer back to it at a later point or copy and paste it then you can do. We're just having a little kick about aren't we? Oh there's Trixie. Before we get ready to go out for a walk we get to go out for a walk. Yeah. Shall we get you dressed? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? So I just quickly need to get myself ready and then we're going to go out for a walk. Hopefully Rupert will sleep in the car or if not, he will sleep in his push chair. Oh, you can tell I was up several times in the night. I have just given Rupert a little feed before we set off and now we are ready to go and get in the car. Okay, such an effort to get into the car, isn't it, with their baby? I just wanted to ask you actually, do any of you go to shops with your babies? I have been avoiding going to the shops with Rupert and Finley because I have them um, on my own most of the time. But I don't know how, whether I'm being overly paranoid, do you take your babies into shops? If you do, which shops? I think probably supermarkets are maybe a bad idea because they're so busy. I have taken them to a garden centre because that was all outdoors and obviously socially distanced. But do let me know, I'd be really interested to know. Leave me a comment below and let me know, do you take your baby into the shops with you? And we will have that off. <laughs> We've just got home now and Rupert managed a very short nap while we were out. He probably napped for about 20 minutes. He normally doesn't have a very long nap in the morning. Somewhere between half an hour and 45 minutes generally. It is half past 12 now and Finley will be getting home from the nanny very shortly. So what I will probably do is wait for him to get back, put him down for his nap and then put Rupert down for his around one o'clock. He normally sleeps from anywhere between an hour to up to two hours for his lunchtime nap. I think that while we're waiting for Finley to come back we will just have a little bit of a play. I have given Rupert another feed since we've been home as well so that is his third feed of the morning or technically we're in the afternoon now. Who is that? Is 
say hi me. We had this mirror in Rupert's little play area downstairs in the conservatory and I actually moved it up here when I was doing a live baby play over on Facebook and Instagram a couple of weeks ago and he's loved it up here so much that we've left it and I've put a different smaller mirror down in the conservatory. <laughs> You do love seeing yourself, don't you? I'll just give you a little sneak peek of what we've done here in Rupert's room with the wall. I showed on my Instagram stories what we've done in Finley's room. I'll show you that in a second if you're interested. But I have ordered some of these wall decals from Etsy. I'll put the link down below if any of you are interested. And it's made such a big difference to his wall. We still are missing a few up at the top. I didn't order quite enough, so I need, need to order a few more, but I really do love how it turns out. I'm not going to show you the whole room yet because you will have to wait for my nursery tour if you want to see that. Here we are in Finley's room. So this is what you will have seen this morning when I was filming and we've just ordered these little like Dalmatian spots for the wall in his room. I think this looks a similar colour on the camera to the colour that's in Rupert's room but this is Elephant's Breath by Pharaoh and Ball and this is Pharaoh and Ball Ammonite which is one of the colours that we have in our living room downstairs if you were at all interested. So it's actually three o'clock now and Rupert is still asleep so he went down around about one o'clock and so he slept for a full two hours in his bed upstairs which is amazing um, and hopefully he'll stay asleep for a little bit longer. Finley's still asleep as well so I'm getting lots of work done doing some editing. I don't tend to wake him up to be honest if he wants to sleep for longer that's absolutely fine. I will just adjust the afternoon nap accordingly. He'll either have a shorter afternoon nap or he won't have one at all if he wakes up too late. So I will keep you updated and see you shortly when he wakes up. So we ended up having a really Really good nap today. Rupert didn't wake up until just after 3.30, so two and a half hours. I think that because of that he probably won't have an afternoon nap, so this afternoon evening is probably going to be a little bit of a cranky one because he'll have to get through from 3.30 until around about 6.37 without napping and he normally only can go for two hours without a nap but luckily he loves the bath so hopefully that should be a good enough distraction for him. Rupert's just having a little bit of time in his bouncer, aren't you? While I do a little bit more editing. And you've got your favourite Freddy the Firefly, haven't you? Or in fact, this isn't Freddy. This is fake Freddy from, hey! from Aldi. <laughs> but good enough, isn't it? Do you love him? What's that noise? Just having our second feed of the afternoon. Someone's decided that he's now feeling cranky. Uh, As expected. Hello Mummy. Hello Finley. It's a bit chaotic in the house. Yeah. Mommy, Anybody else with a baby mommy. and a toddler hello, mommy. feel sorry hello. solidarity with me. Hello, Say hello everyone. Hello. Oh no don't put your finger all over Mummy's camera screen. I think I forgot to mention before that I fed Rupert when he woke up from his afternoon nap. I tend to try and feed him after he wakes up rather than feeding him before he goes down for a nap just to avoid that feed to sleep association which works really well for us. The only time I don't do that is when I feed him right before he goes to bed at night time but then I tend to have a little cuddle or something just to wake him up a little before I put him down. We just got out the bath haven't we? We didn't film because Finley was in there splashing and I didn't want to get the camera so wet so we're just going to have a little bit of a play now and then we'll have a story and it'll be time for the milk and bed won't it <coughs> Who is that? Is that you? 
I have definitely come full circle back to my dishevelled morning look, haven't I? Rupert is in bed now, it's about seven o'clock. I tend to aim to get him in the bath for 6 p.m at the latest and then he has milk and a story and uh, about 6.30 and then he goes down to bed between 6.30 and 7 p.m. He then tends to wake up around about 10 p.m. at the moment for another feed and then he'll wake up a couple of times in the night, sometimes once if we're lucky, most of the time twice in the night and then he'll be up bright and early I'm sure tomorrow morning. We are actually just about to transition him to the cot in his own room so you saw me in that clip just there feeding him and giving him a story in his bedroom just to get him used to it. We have had a couple of naps in there as well and I will be doing a video all about our transition to the cot and any tips or advice that I have for you very shortly so make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you want to see that. If you have any questions about our three to six month routine then do be sure to leave a comment down below and I will be very happy to answer you. Don't forget to give this video a like. If you did like it it really Really does help my channel out immensely and I do so appreciate it. If you would like some more ideas for things to do with your baby during the day while you're playing then click onto this video here. It is a playlist with tons of different ideas for baby play in there and I will see you all very soon. Bye everybody, thanks for watching.